Hi, my name is George Jensen, and I served as the pastor at the New Life Church of God. It was formerly the Mount Carmel First Church of God, as you know, from June 1st of 1996 through February 28th of 2001. And it was my pleasure to serve there as the pastor as well as the pastor at the y Sample Church of God during that same period of time. And I want to congratulate you on your anniversary. I believe that this marks the 138th anniversary of your church. I found that by looking at an old favorite. This is a book that was compiled back in 1983 um, for the 100th anniversary of the church. I trust you have a copy of that. If not, I'm sure there's one somewhere there in the Bethel that you can take a look at. But once again, I just want to thank you for this opportunity to share some encouraging words with you. I have some many good memories of serving there at the church and in the community. Some community things that I think about were Mount Carmel football games. They were great, especially the coal bucket game. I enjoyed going to those. I also liked eating at Matucci's and some of the restaurants downtown. Not sure they're all there, but very much enjoyed that. Also enjoyed taking our dogs. Some of you that were in the church back at that time may remember our little dog Carmel and he would greet people on their way into Sunday school there in the backyard, but we loved taking him on walks all around town. It was a very nice community to walk in, going to the park, different things like that. Uh, we enjoyed doing that very much. Now, I have to tell you, though, that there were some things that were a blessing there serving in the church, some things that I had the privilege to do, and many of those were first-time things. I did my first wedding there in the sanctuary at the church, um, my first baptism that I ever performed was also there as well. First child dedication and many other things. And there were, some also, there were also some new things that we tried as well, brand new things uh, that were successful. I remember we had the idea one year during vacation Bible school, and I can't remember what year that was, but to block off Grape Street uh, from the upper alley down to 2nd Street there and have like a little carnival for the vacation Bible school students. And some other things we did as well as singing some choruses. In those days, you didn't use a computer. We had an old overhead projector and put the songs on transparencies and things like this. But I think the best thing, the most uh, wonderful thing that I got to be a part of was when someone would give their life to Jesus as Lord and Savior. Now, it wasn't my first time in leading someone to faith in Jesus, but it was my first time doing so as a pastor, obviously, through the ministry of the church. I want to tell you one funny story. There's another first-time thing that I got to do serving there as the pastor, and that is to try to serve as an exterminator of pests. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, we had a problem where there were a bunch of bees, a massive amount of bees. Believe it or not, they were honeybees. Um, in one of the organ chambers, uh, the great chamber, that's where the pipes are in that chamber that's closest down to Second Street. And um, I thought, well, I can handle this. And so I went and got a get up on. I put on a flannel shirt and a uh, long pants gloves. I even took a sheen curtain out of the parsonage. Don't tell anyone I did that. Put it over my head, tucked it down the shirt, put a ball cap on. And before that, I went up to either Chicatano's or Cole's Hardware and got a a can of uh, pest spray of some sort, and I walked up into the attic, got there through what we called the Sunday school room uh, there, the area you enter from Grape Street, and walked over into the main sanctuary and uh, looked down behind where that uh, chamber is, the great chamber, and I started spraying, and oh my word, I heard a loud sound. It wasn't the organ, it was the bees, and I knew they were coming after me, and I ran for my life, and to this day, I don't know how I ran, uh, getting my feet on all of the rafters and not falling through the ceiling. And I got down there out, out of that situation and my heart was beating. And I realized this is not my calling in life. We need to get somebody else in to do this. Just a little lesson there. If there is something that you try to do for the first time and you realize it's not your gift or your calling, God has somebody else lined up to do it. And indeed, we were able to get some folks in that took care of the bees for us. So as a word to encourage you today in your anniversary, and as you look forward to the future, maybe thinking of other new things that you have to do. We are in unprecedented times. I'm going to leave you with Isaiah 43, 19. that says, Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. 
So may God bless you as you consider new ways that you can serve God in the community there. I am so thrilled that your ministry is thriving under Pastor Pat's leadership and the other folks there that are serving in leadership and all of you, of course, that are serving as ministers of God. Keep on keeping on. Watch out for those new things that God may be calling you to do. Try them out. And if it's not something that you're called to do, God will raise somebody else up to do that. By the way, if you wonder where I'm coming to you from today, I'm coming to you from the sanctuary of the Enola First Church of God. This is a sister congregation uh, to you through the Eastern Regional Conference, more importantly through the Kingdom of God. And um, I've been serving here for a long time, but it certainly is a blessing for me to speak to you today uh, from here, from your sister church to you, the New Life Church of God, to congratulate you on your anniversary and to encourage you to keep on keeping on and keep trying those new things that God may be calling your way. God bless you all.